Hi everybody. So, um, <laughs> I spared you from having to watch me cut out these stamps. I wish I could have spared myself. It was awful. <laughs> I don't think I will use it again, like to cut out. Whenever I use the stamp, I will be stamping directly on the page because it was not fun cutting it out. And I'm not one who enjoys cutting out stamped images at all. Like, I mean, I can handle this, but I'd still rather not have to cut out stamped images. So that was, it almost pushed me over the edge. <laughs> But it's done. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And uh, yeah, it's done. Yay. <laughs> so I'm going to work on that idea I had that I mentioned in the last video with the houses and Santa and his sleigh, you know, going over the houses. So I'm just going to color them with some Copics don't really know what colors I want to use. I was thinking on the background of the page I would use some ink spray and just do like a wash of different blues you know for the sky. Maybe add some shimmer. Um, we'll see. So I don't want these to be super bright I don't think but I don't want it all to look really dark and drab either so I don't really know what to do like I know by rights it's supposed to be nighttime so maybe all the houses should look black but that would be boring so I don't want to do that <laughs> so I'm just gonna color them in. This is BG15 and BG09. I know I don't usually bother telling the colors, but I guess I'm gonna. And I don't record this to show you how to color. I mean, I would never give a tutorial for coloring with Copics. I mean, I am not a professional by any means. I barely ever color. I just do what I like. and what looks good to me. Sometimes what I do doesn't even look good to me. <laughs> and I'm not worried about going over the lines because I'm going to cut them out. out in case I decide to do another house the same colors because I don't want too many colors going on and I think let's see okay so this is G99 and G94 I can't remember which one's darker I just tend to give an overall color and then go where I would want some shadows and then try to blend it in a bit more. Nothing fancy. So 
So I was thinking if I could keep kind of in this mid-tone, not too light, not too dark. Um, I don't even know how many of these I'm going to use. I'm just going to color them all. well with this. This is RV69. I don't even have any other RVs. Oh, I do. There we go. And RV95. I know I could try harder to stay in the lines, but why bother? It's going to be cut out. Just kind of doing it almost like that messy artisy look. <laughs> Do those that same color too. Because why not? It actually looks nice with that color. But I would want the roof darker. I think I'll do brown roofs for this house. I'm keeping it very simple, just using two colors instead of three for the blending. This is just a black. Um, oh, and this was E25 and E29.
just doing some straight lines there because I thought if any marker line is going to show if I do it straight at least it'll look like siding or something So it's a W5 and a W7. But I feel like there's a saying, gray and green should never be seen, except for in the washing machine. <laughs> is that one? Or is it blue and green? <laughs> I don't know. I say do whatever you want. She might do that color for a house. Need a couple of roofs. No. Why not? thing so I'm really looking for simple here Let's repeat some colors.
It says E49. Color with that chiseled edge. Just one left. Let's do the green combo again. So the houses are all colored, and I'm just going to cut them out, and then I'll be back. Okay, so my houses are cut out, and I arranged them how I want them to go. <coughs> now the part I'm really nervous about is doing the background. I love when other people use sprays. I am not the best with them and I always make such a huge mess and I don't enjoy it. <laughs> There's certain kinds of mess I don't mind but spray just drives me nuts because it gets everywhere. And it's a little less controllable and I know I'm not one for perfection but yeah spray is very e for me because <laughs> you want it to go a place but it goes everywhere so makes me nervous um, I've picked out London Blue After Midnight and then in a shimmer spray, Balmy Night. Yeah. I really don't know what to do. I really, really don't. I'm going to spray the paper. I think... Friggity. I don't know why I get so nervous with sprays. I'm just gonna go for it. Spray the two. Doesn't feel like enough water. Let's see. I really suck at sprays. I really do. See, I have it all over here, all over my nice new stamped images. This is why sprays bother me. They really do. And 
I don't like the after spray, like the speckly stuff. I love this, but I don't like how that overspray looks. And now I'm getting it on this one. That's better. <laughs> May as well make this page blue. That's not so bad. I don't mind mess, I just don't like spray mess. And I don't do the ghosting technique very much. So I don't know if I'm supposed to completely dry my pages first or if I just go ahead and do it. I don't want to do the flip. And I don't know how long to wait. I don't know if I should have waited longer because it's not showing up heaps. I'm just going to, can't do anything else until this is dry. Okay, so I put, listen to my voice, it's sounding pretty good. <laughs> I put the stencil back down and then I very loosely and quite messy in some spots traced it with this pen. I can't tell you a name because I cannot pronounce any of that. Sorry, but it's blue. I didn't use black. I just went in with the same color. And I can even see where I missed spots, but like I said, very loosely and messy. So now I'm trying to decide if I want to go back in and add some more circles with white. And I know it's ink spray, so it'll come through and it'll, I don't know. Or maybe I should just take some white Dilutions ink spray and just tap it. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to add some shimmer spray. Hmm. How do I want to do that? I don't want a lot. Yeah, I'm going to do... Nope. <laughs> See, when it comes to spray, I get so nervous. <laughs> I think I'm just going to do what I was going to do with the white. Let's see. 
<coughs> of course I have it elsewhere as well now we have to wait for that maybe I'll add some white as well I'm going to try and control myself and not do too much white. That's it. Control. <laughs> now I'm going to wait for that to dry. Okay, everybody, um, this is the next day, so it has dried overnight, and notice my voice is sounding a lot better than yesterday. So, <laughs> I find it funny, like, I did this yesterday, so the 28th of July, and on Instagram today, Ranger posted, and they used... I don't know if they use sprays or paints. I didn't look at it twice, but they did a blue background. And then they used the same stencil I did, but they put through white paint instead of doing the ghosting technique. And um, they used this as well. So I thought it was so funny. But they did not use houses. They used the um, the gnomes in a Christmas tree, I believe. So it will be different, but I just found it so funny that they too posted something so similar. So anyway, now that the background is dry, I'm going to see where I want this. I did... Is that supposed to be up to his neck? It is. But all of those are down towards the butt. I got a string coming out of his butt. That's how the other ones are. I know it came from there, but they'll bring it too close. I may even actually cut off the strings and I'll just use a marker and then I can place them where I want. Just make sure if you separate them that the one with the nose goes in the front. As Rudolph leads the sled. Can't demote him. That would not be nice. And then I can give it whatever shape and bend I want. Took a picture on my phone. There it is. This is why I take pictures because I like the layout of the houses and I knew there was no way I would remember how I had it. So now I can just lay it out the way I had it. The worst part about using sprays, your pages get all warped. One's over there. Let me get a clip. I 
that helps them. So that's pretty close to the way I had it. There was more, it was like here. One second. We have a showing today. Sorry about that. I am not, <laughs> I don't usually do these big journal pages, so it's kind of like really not me to do this kind of stuff. I don't know. Like to me it just seems strange to just do this and that's it. Like I'm used to having a little bit of stuff and then like a big quote or something. I mean I used to do stuff like this ages ago but not in a while. Something is telling me to do something with the ruler. But I don't know. Maybe I'll just try some black paint. that up but oops that's balmy night I want black <laughs> but since I got that out I'm just gonna mix it with my black and I know I've said this a million times but this is my absolute favorite black paint ever. Ever, ever. So I'm just using the ruler as a guide. I think it needed that. I like it. Bring up my 
dragon. Okay, I'm going to glue those down. And where that paint may not be completely dry, I'm just going to use a combo of the permanent adhesive and a glue stick. I don't need to glue this one down first. Oh, frig. <laughs> uh, see, rushing does not pay. <laughs> my coughing and stuff but honestly I feel like this video or any videos until this cold's over won't get out to you if I have to watch everything and edit it out I just I don't have the energy for it right now so I'd rather give you something even though it's not Excuse me. <coughs> Even though it's not edited, I'd rather give you that than nothing at all. Because I feel bad when I don't have a video for you guys. And I have been slacking lately, I know. But it's not necessarily that I've been slacking. <laughs> My YouTube channel has just been taking the blunt of it because, you know, we've been working on the house to get it ready for it to put it on the market. And now it is on the market and so we have showings and then I have family visiting from Newfoundland and oops, wrong one. And then I got sick. <laughs> so it's just a bunch of, I was going to say little things, but they're not little things. They're big things. They're all quite big things. But we really had a great time with whew, family visit. It was my husband's younger sister and her husband and two boys. And they're younger boys, like six and eight. So... It was fun. We don't we never have little ones around anymore because ours are grown and any friends we have tend to be older than us. <laughs> and so their kids are older than ours and it was just nice. And plus it's family. And we went to a zoo. Greenview Avery's which is nearby and it's not like a huge like the Toronto Zoo or anything that's busy and full of tourists and annoying and stuff this is just like a place nearby and it's just really nice and you can pet some of the animals and stuff so we had a great time and then they had um, they have like a small zip line and a water park and everything for the little kids so my kids didn't go. <laughs> um, my daughter would have went, even though she's the oldest, she would have went, but she had to work. And my son didn't want to go. So it was just us with the young boys, and it was lots of fun. So he's going to go there because there's a lot of empty space there. And like that. I think they're going to go I'm 
Should it be up higher? Or should it be down lower? I kind of like it like that. The one thing with a sprayed background, I feel limited as to what I can do now on top. And maybe that's just my mind. I'm not used to working with sprays. But I know whatever I go on goes on top is going to be water reactive. So now if I had done this in blue paint, I could totally see me doing a quote in white paint pen on top. But I know that's just going to make it all come through. So I don't know what to do now. I feel so bad sniffing on the video. I feel like I'm annoying you guys a lot. I actually started um, last night when I should have been working on this one. I actually started another page. I don't have a lot done to it, but I had the background. And again, I use sprays. I shouldn't have. I should have used paint, but sprays are so quick. Though I could have done paint with the baby wipes, and that would have been quick. I just have a little bit done. And I use one of the stamps in a different way. And that was the thing. I had the idea, and once the idea is in my head, I just wanted to do it because, well, one, I was excited about it, so I like to do, it's enjoyable when you do something in the moment when you're excited about it, and two, I don't trust my memory to remember it later. So that was another reason why I did it right then and there. Now, I want a black marker just to go over this is just a Copic marker because there's white and I don't like it it's just from where I'm when I cut it I didn't get the greatest cut I'm just going to color the whole thing in because there's white specks in it as well. Maybe I should have did it before I glued it down. Oh well. This will make it more solid. I'm liking it better already. This would be perfect if I had um, Diane's Christmas back chat stickers were ready. That would be perfect to use on here. I could leave it and then when they come out, I could put some on there. And she even showed us pictures in her 
release video where she was waiting for back chat to add. Though I'm sure she already has them. <laughs> Just, you know, we could see it. So I think that might be what I do. I think I'm just going to add, I may add some white stamping. Let's see after I get these colored in. Just around the border of the page. And I know the ink will come through, but it'll still add some interest, right? I gotta blow my nose because my sniffing is annoying me, so it must be annoying you. Okay. I know you probably don't want to hear this, but it's funny. <laughs> blow my nose and my one nostril. It sounds like a squeaky toy. <laughs> it would make me laugh every time I was blowing my nose. <laughs> Doesn't take much to amuse me. <laughs> you laugh at anything. Which is good, because makes me a happy person. <laughs> my husband makes fun of me, but it's also, he says, what he likes or loves about me. Um, I still get excited about things like a little kid. He's like, never lose that. <laughs> I hope I don't. I'm glad he likes it instead of finding it annoying. I stay young at heart for the both of us. Feeling better about this page now that I know I'm going to wait for Diane's um, back chat stickers. So I know not all pages need words, but I like quotes. I like adding words to pages. It feels so unfinished if. Um, no quote or something has been added to it. I know that's my thing. That doesn't mean you have to feel that way, but that's what I like. Now, of course, in my head while I'm doing this, all I can think about, okay, we have a showing at four. What needs to be done? But one thing about having your house on the market and not knowing when a showing could arise, you keep your house nice and clean. I have to say, with me being sick this week, like I think... <laughs> And it's not very nice of me, but I feel like I don't do, I keep thinking like I don't do much around the house, like, because I'm not, like I cook and stuff, I do all the cooking, but I hate cleaning. But I will tell you, you can tell that I've been sick for a week, so I must do something. <laughs> okay. I think that looks better. You can see parts of it still wet, so it looks a little funny. But, um, so I have, I have a white ink pad. I think I bought a Ranger one too. Where's my Ranger one? Oh, here it is. I'm going to try that one. I don't think I've tried this one yet. 
And I'm gonna take one of So I'll take this one, Holly and the Ivy. And I'm just going to go around the perimeter of the page. And I know the ink is going to come up through, but I think it'll still add. I mean, I could do it with a color too, but whoops. I forgot that's on there. I'm just going to give this a shot and do this side first because I'm going to have to put something under there. My head is getting loopy. And I don't want to go on the reindeer. So I didn't come down the whole way. you're going to see it a whole lot, but curtains closed for a while but I kept thinking that wasn't very good for anybody driving by and wanting to look at the house like so I opened them up and now I am warm because the sun really beats in there so yeah it didn't add a whole lot but you can see it some Nothing too exciting. I think I'm going to do it, not this one, but um, and choose a different stamp and go in with a dark blue. And with the white ink pads, I always clean them off my stamp. And I'm going to use, oh good lord, I'm going to use the holly from this one because I love and I'm using cobalt in the archival ink. Now I'm liking it. I 
and just turn my stamp different ways. This is what I wanted. There we go. I like that a lot more. Let's see. remember how if whites react on Copics. Oh, they seem okay. So I'm just going to add some highlights. Is that going to show up? Just put some around his nose. I know it's nighttime, so there probably shouldn't be any highlights, but the moon reflects light. And it's just playful art, so it doesn't matter. <coughs> so I'm going to have to stop. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So we'll just wait on Diane's back chat stickers, and that is it. I'm going to call that done. So, once again, thanks for putting up with my not so nice sniffles and stuff like that. I apologize, but what can I do? Except I guess I could shut up. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.